and welcome to today's Fun and Learn Tuesday Tip as we celebrate Fair Housing Month, the month of April. Thanks to those of you who sent me an email, said that you liked last week's Fun and Learn. I thought it was interesting and something a little different. And I thank those of you who sent in your questions for the April the 30th session. I was really amazed at how many of you guys got most of all of the answers right, and especially our golden rule. What you do for one, you have to do for them all. Everybody got that one correct. Well, today we're going to discuss issues under the fair housing umbrella. So let's test your fair housing knowledge again. Look at the slide. At the first slide, write down which of these items or issues would not come under the fair housing umbrella. Great. Now look at the second list. Write down which of these you think would not come under the fair housing umbrella. Now, give yourself seven points for each answer you've written. What's your score? Well, it should be zero because all of the 14 issues under the umbrella are covered by fair housing. Let's talk about each of them a little bit. First, we have the Violence Against Women's Act. You cannot discriminate against a person because they have been a victim of domestic violence. Secondly, we have LGBT or the equal access rule. Remember HUD sent out a lot of documentations and a lot of notices on LGBT. You cannot discriminate based on a person choosing a sexual preference. You just can't do it. Thirdly, criminal solutions. Our former Secretary of Housing, Secretary Donovan sent out an email and asked us to be lenient as we worked with people who had a criminal background history or who might have had a record of some kind as we allowed them and as we reviewed their applications. He warned us not to violate their civil rights. So as far as the criminal records go, make sure that you're equal across the board, make sure you have something in writing as to what you accept and what you will not accept. The next one we'll look at will be hoarding. Now, they call me at work a borderline hoarder, but hoarding is covered under the fair housing umbrella. It is actually a disease and hoarders are beginning to get more and more notice and you have to treat them fairly. You can't just say, oh, you're junkie Vicky and we're not putting up with this mess and send me an eviction notice. You have to look into it and see if there's a cause or a disease by my desire to buy all of these clothes and just pack them up or newspapers or magazines or whatever it is that I'm hoarding. The next one is limited English proficiency. You have to provide for your non-English speaking residents the documents that contribute to their livability in your property, like your lease, your house rules, your community rules, in a language that they understand. Now, the lease that goes into the resident's file has to be in English. But so that they can understand the documents, even the application, you must provide it to them in a language that they understand. And HUD has a host of these out there on their website. The next issue we'll look at will be sexual harassment. We all are familiar with sexual harassment and quid pro quo. Let me just say that sexual harassment is covered under fair housing. Be careful not to offer a unit for something else. Something for something is more like the, the way we, we usually say it, or something for nothing, most people say. But be careful with your comments uh, or how you address people, even though you're just kidding. 
because sexual harassment is covered under fair housing. The next one we will look at will be the affirmative fair housing marketing plan. Now all of us who receive government assisted funds realize that we have to market to the people who are least likely to apply. The affirmative fair housing marketing plans come under the fair housing umbrella. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.